right, so every Tuesday on CBS 4 News, we share stories about why mentoring matters. A man with a passion for aviation is sharing what that with some young people at Broward College. Yeah, he's giving them the tools they need to achieve goals he has yet to realize himself. CBS 4's Francis Wang has a special story of a teacher and a student. And expect for Nick's and class. Okay. In this Broward College hangar, students are working toward a career in aviation maintenance. Learning to repair and assemble aircraft engines is a full-time, two-year program. For Davidson Nazakwe Daniel, the interest in planes sparked when he was a child in Nigeria. I used to always be fascinated about how aircraft fly, how they work, and I wanted to know how these lovely machines, you know, how they fly. He studied aerospace engineering in Great Britain before he realized he wanted a more hands-on type of job and saw the potential for mechanics. But there is a lot you can benefit from being an aviation professional. Most um, certificated mechanics start between 50 to 60 on a yearly basis, and that, that rises very rapidly when you begin to you know, get your, in the next five years, you'll be in six figures. Are they intact? Yes. Right direction. An estimated 754,000 new aircraft maintenance technicians will be needed in the next two decades. However, to get a job, you have to pass FAA enforced certifications. You have to pass this test before you can touch an aircraft. Every aircraft mechanic needs an EMP certificate or license. The tests are rigorous. I struggled when I I was taking the test. The program is long and intensive. You get to learn a lot. But the curriculum for testing is very concise. It's not as much as what you learn. So I had to try and try again um, before I succeeded. Once he passed the first certification, he knew he had to help others. I'm also a proponent of once you get it, you give it back. And there is that satisfaction that comes when you play an integral role in the success of others. And that's why I created this mentoring platform to help students reinforce those um, specific skills. It's a prep course called Curriculum Practical Training, breaking down the test in a practical way. Jung Yal An is one of the 25 students to participate. Because I'm from South Korea and then my English is not perfect, to get the AMP license I need to pass oral and practical tests. He told me how to solve the program, something like that. So when I finished the program, I felt that maybe I was kind of prepared for that, something like that. So it was so helpful. Davidson hopes to see this no-cost curriculum expand for Broward College and beyond. Rest assured, he has made an impact already. Jung Yao already secured a job as engine assembler GE Aviation in Indiana. I was so <laughs> I was so happy at the time. So I called the Davidson, who helped me a lot. So I told him the good news, and then yeah, and then I really yeah appreciate his help. Davidson finishes the course in December, setting his sights on a similar job. He's fueled by a passion and admiration for this industry. Many groundbreaking inventions or feats achieved by man in the common era has been powered by aviation. Francis Wang, CBS 4 News. And Broward College has a waiting list for entry to this program and plans to expand it. For more information, you can visit our website, cbsmiami.com. It would like to become, if you would like to become a mentor, head over to our website, cbsmiami.com slash mentoring matters. We have a list of organizations you can get involved with. And tell us about mentors in your life. Email us at mentoring at cbs.com. 653 right now. Another check on this morning's headlines.